Today we're in Baton Rouge announcing the Lemonade Day, uh, May 4th date for Louisiana Lemonade Day. We're going statewide this year. We're in all, all corners of the state and for those that need to get their backpacks they can go to their local Raising Cane or they can go on their webs on our website at louisiana.lemonadeday.org. But we have children and schools and people signing up all over the state and it's really a statewide program and really working well with the kids. We're going record this year statewide. I'm hoping over 12,000 uh, 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 students get involved with this. Uh, hopefully we'll beat that. What's your personal connection to Lemonade Day? You know, I was an entrepreneur as a kid, uh, and I did Lemonade Stand. So for me, uh, that's how I learned how to do entrepreneurship. And I'm hoping that this inspires other kids to have their future raising canes and not only make money, but save money and also put a lot of that money back in the community. This is our third year bringing Lemonade Day to the Baton Rouge community. Uh, Lemonade Day helps prepare youth for life. It empowers through entrepreneurism. And when you get these backpacks that you see that they're working really hard for, they get a workbook with 14 steps on how to make a perfect business plan. It teaches them that with a little hard work, they can be a success in life. And more importantly, it teaches them to spend some on themselves, save a portion of their profits, and open a savings account, and then share a portion of their profits to the, to the community, to a charity of their choice. So while these children are having fun doing a lemonade stand that for some children is a rite of passage, but through Lemonade Day is a learning tool, they are learning financial literacy, they are learning social awareness, and they are learning the rewards of hard work. On LSU campus in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Lemonade Day Louisiana began with uh, Todd Graves, who is the co-founder with me and myself getting together and wanting to do something for the young children that we had experienced when we were young children, and that is to open lemonade stands in both Baton Rouge and South Louisiana. And this year we're excited to announce that we're going statewide. Todd said he has businesses all over the state and he wanted it all over and we put together a plan that we're building, we're doing backpacks today for uh, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, South Louisiana, Lafayette, Lake Charles, Monroe, Alexandria, and Shreveport. So this program, which began the first year with 5,000 uh, entrepreneurs, last year I think we did over 10,000, and this year uh, I think we'll do 15,000. So I want to thank everybody for having us here and introduce the co-founder of Lemonade Day Louisiana, probably Baton Rouge's most famous entrepreneur, Todd Graves. Thank you. I don't know about that. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, I think it's obvious we have a great entrepreneurial story. There's a lot of people from Canes here, which is great seeing you all here. And um, for me, is, uh, and, and John's being homeless that we started together, we didn't. John brought, uh, met Michael Holhouse, who started this, in, um, who was an entrepreneur in Houston and wanted to start it to teach his girls, young girls, uh, how to earn money. Uh, and the neat part about this program is, is like, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of entrepreneurship and growing up. Um, but the reason why I think entrepreneurship is so important outside of which this group knows is a great group to talk to is, you know, it creates an economic uh, stimulation environment. Small business drives the money that goes in this country. But it's, it's if you teach entrepreneurs, and I was in Dr. Justice class earlier and we were talking to the students, and these are all motivated people and a lot of them want to start their own businesses. It's the social aspects of it. If you're a leader in your community and you become a great community giver and a community involved person, and it's just like John being here today, it's you create that better environment, so you do it, and you can do it through business. So I think business and community tie-ins together is a win-win for everybody. And so that's why I get a chance to go talk to these classes and talk about what we do in the community. And so for me, is when John came to me and said, hey, this is something that we want to do, I looked at the program before I even met Michael Holhouse, and you look at this, and I know you kids go through it, but it's a great program to teach kids about doing lemonade stands. I was a natural entrepreneur. I did lemonade stands like John did when I was a kid. And the neat thing about that is it spurred, we have 154 lemonade stands right now serving fresh graders lemonade across the country and we're the fastest growing restaurant concept in the country and we're gonna be able to give back to our community so I talk about it passionately entrepreneurship is very important and this program when I looked at it, it was a great way to take kids through it 
and to get them inspired to be, be to be that um, that that future entrepreneur. But it teaches about you. You can spend a th the money you make from your stand, and my kids do it. You spend a third is what's encouraged. You save a third, and you a third back in your community. So that program I think is just very well rounded. And for a lot of kids that were never exposed to it and didn't have parents that ever thought about business or didn't have those opportunities, uh, we got tens of thousands of kids going. Now we're going statewide. It's going to be uh, all over. We're going to do bigger, and hopefully we'll take it to other states in the future. So I'm very excited. Uh, thanks to all the sponsors. I know uh, the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, I know Ellen's here, the Energy people are here. They came with some big money. So just like Lane, Olympic uh, McDaniel's here with the Credit Bureau. Uh, Kevin, I know you're here with Source Capital. And uh, thanks to those, the Cajun Industries, the Walpole Companies, all the people that couldn't be here because there's a lot of money that people put behind to uh, have us do something that we really enjoy. So we appreciate it. Well, what a great day. And uh, let me tell you about my two buddies, uh, uh, Mr. Georges and also uh, Todd. What do they have in common? Success. But they know also in order to achieve success, you have to work very hard. And you have to take on this word responsibility. And so with all of those in mind, what we are doing together is laying out a foundation for all of you uh, to get into business, have your own business, and tell people how you made it. After you've learned, then go back and tell somebody else and keep spreading the word around, and then a lot of people will know about it. But to our young friends here, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you because you've taken time out uh, to help enhance and enrich yourselves. And don't worry about, OK, I grew up here. Throw that out of the way, because this will give you a chance to grow and be a new person and even things that you never dreamed of will happen because of the principles that you learn in entrepreneurship. And so to the young people from LSU, uh, thank you for what you're doing and thank these sponsors uh, for coming forth to make a difference in the quality of life for all of our citizens. So to my great friend, it is my pleasure. Uh, you know, since you didn't bring the drums, I'll have to do my own drum roll. Uh, <laughs> it is my pleasure. Uh, on behalf of the city of Baton Rouge and the parish of East Baton Rouge to proclaim May 4th, 2013 as Lemonade Day. Hey. Thank you very much. You. We're so excited about having all the lemonade stand owners uh, here today. This is going to be a big thing that we uh, at the Stevenson Entrepreneurship Institute want to encourage. All of you that start your business, we expect you to run that business, run it well, learn as much as you can. Then you move into LSU. You come and uh, get a minor or a, uh, a concentration, and hopefully by the time you come up a major in entrepreneurship. While you're here at LSU, you will join our student incubator. We have an incubator that has uh, 42 student companies. Uh, in April, we're going to be giving away $25,000 to four of these companies in the incubator that will be able to jumpstart their company. So I'm counting on all of you to move forward in that direction. Uh, also, with the Stevenson Entrepreneurship Institute, we have an entrepreneurship boot camp for disabled veterans. We just finished our second uh, uh, class of that. Uh, we have the entrepreneurship fellows. Many of them are out there uh, stuff over here, uh, stuffing bags and helping you, and they'll be your mentors in helping you get your stand started. Um, and then we have the LSU 100, the fastest growing um, LSU 100 fastest growing companies. And so as you grow your stand and you get into that fastest growing mode, we will recognize you at our, our big event for the LSU 100. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, uh, welcome to Lemonade Day. Uh, the E.J. Uso College and LSU are just excited to be a host for this. Uh, entrepreneurship is a major part of our mission at our college. Uh, Charlie mentioned the activities of the Louisiana Business and Technology Center, the Stevenson Entrepreneurship Institute. Uh, we have about 200 of our students who concentrate in entre entrepreneurship. Uh, we've had a great program over many years. Uh, Dr. Bob Justice is sitting here, who we all know, who's committed his uh, career to entrepreneurship uh, that we owe so much to. So we're just, we're just excited to have you here. We want to thank uh, Todd and uh, Todd Graves and Keynes, what they've done. We want to thank the mayor for his support. 
all of our, our supporters listed up here, our media sponsors. Uh, so uh, enjoy the day uh, and uh, thank you for coming. When I was young, I had a lemonade stand, so uh, that, that's the connection I have. And of course, I went on to be a business person. So uh, I think a lot of people did these things when they were younger. And uh, I, I sold lemonade and I had candy as well, so a little deviation of it. But um, kids love it. it uh, it's a family event, so parents, brothers, sisters can be involved. Friends, they can do it in groups. They can do it as individuals. Really exciting, and glad to have the whole state of Louisiana doing it this year. Your reaction to this being a statewide event? Yeah, that's what's so exciting for me is going around to the state, whether you're in Monroe, West Monroe, Bossier, Shreveport, Alexandria, Ruston, Lafayette, the whole state, Lake Charles, and of course South Louisiana from Hammond to Homa. The kids are loving it, and all we need now is just good weather. That's, that's what we hope for. I love how Lemonade Day has taken off. We have great, great community leaders, teachers, mentors that are involved with this, and kids are loving it. When kids see when Lemonade Day this year, when people see it and see all these lemonade stands and seeing how kids are enjoying it and learning so much, it just builds and builds and builds. Today represents a, a great future for our young people because it's teaching them the basics, basics of economics and entrepreneurship. They can learn things right now that will benefit them as they get older, prepare them for their own businesses, and yet go out and also help other people to give back to the community and also take their knowledge to teach others that regardless of from whence you came, that there are opportunities available to you, but you got to take advantage of them. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I, th I think the opportunity for young children who uh, might not otherwise get the opportunity to experience some entrepreneurship is great. Uh, you know, it's, I think we all get started that way at some point, whether it's, you know, Kool-Aid stand, lemonade stand, that's where we most start with our entrepreneurial uh, endeavors, and it carries most of us through life. We have students here, uh, uh, elementary school st yeah. students, uh, so it's it's a very exciting day for us. And uh, again, we're we're just uh, we're we're uh, excited to be a part of it. I think they'll see the fun of running a business, the uh, independence of running a business, but they'll also find out the hard work in running a business. But I think it'll carry through into elementary school, high school, and then we have a student incubator at LSU, which has over 42 companies in it. And these are students that are beginning businesses while in school so that upon graduation day they have created their own job. Smaller businesses are not really things that kids think about. They think of business and big corporations and it's cool for young kids to realize that that is an opportunity to go older and start their own business rather than just join an existing one. I think it's a great experience. I think that youth is the future. They're the ones who, who will make the, the world better and it's a great opportunity for them to start learning since they're young of how to be successful in life and to how to start up their own business. Small business is the lifeblood of our economy. Small business drives this economy economically and small business also creates a lot of great leaders and communities. So Lemonade Day is great because they learn how to make money and they also learn how to put that money back in the community. We're telling everyone to go on our website at louisiana.lemonadeday.org and or they can go to the Raising Cane. Uh, first you have to go sign up on the website and then you can get a number and then you can go to your local Raising Cane and pick up your backpack. We're glad to have statewide corporate sponsors uh, with us. Of course, Entergy is one of our sponsors, Raising Cane's and our company, Georgia Senate Prizes. But statewide, we have many, many sponsors and local banks and grocery stores. And it's really, truly the business community's program to, uh, for families and children to become businessmen themselves. Go to LemonadeDay.org or go to any Raising Canes and we'll have all the materials uh, for you, registration and free workbooks and backpacks.